an explanation as to why the atmosphere remains in proximity of Earth. Let's suppose that the Earth is a giant sphere or ball in the vacuum of space, and that there's a force or effect of gravity pulling close objects towards Earth's center. We're going to treat the atmospheric air molecules as if they are tiny golf balls bouncing against each other. They bounce around with the energy and vibration of heat caused by solar radiation from the sun. Now bear in mind that a vacuum is a void. It's nothing. It has no power, no energy. It's just empty space. Now the golf balls bounce against each other the most, closest to the surface of the ball, where the force of gravity is strongest. The highest concentration of golf balls per cubic meter is at Earth's surface. We call this pressure. Pressure is the measurement of the force per unit area caused by golf balls bouncing against it. Now let's move a little further away from the Earth to the height of the summit of Mount Everest. There's still a lot of golf balls, but in a much lower concentration than at the surface. Pressure is less, they collide much less often, and they do not move so violently as there's less heat at just below 9 kilometers altitude. Let's move even further away, until we're at 30 kilometers altitude. This far up it's very cold. If you were unprotected, your blood would start to vaporize through the pores of your skin. Here there are far fewer golf balls per cubic meter. Pressure is very low, about the same pressure as on Mars in fact. There are very few collisions and the golf balls move much more slowly. Finally, let's move out to 100 kilometers, the beginning of space. There are so few air molecules here that the golf balls never collide. They're only under the influence of one force, gravity, pulling them down towards Earth. There's not enough pressure to force them out into space, so the air pressure and gravity are in an equilibrium. This is the edge of the traditional atmosphere. At 100 kilometers up, we're not far away from the satellites in low Earth orbit. The pressure is so low that an object can orbit the Earth with almost no friction. Objects traveling at around 7 kilometers per second can sustain this altitude for long periods as their momentum and propensity to travel in a straight line exactly counters the gravitational pull of the Earth. This is what an orbit is, when gravity is exactly countered by centrifugal force. This is where astronauts encounter zero G. Although there's still gravity here, they're just traveling so fast that its effect is neutralized. The Earth's atmosphere does not suffer from the pull of a vacuum, because without pressure there's no force. There's no pressure difference as the number of golf balls per cubic meter has gradually reduced with the distance from the surface of the Earth. No pressure difference, no force.